Okay, I'm finished with the under the hood stuff, so I'm gonna move to the cab. And this is what I'm working with. Yeah, everything's so cool. Floor mats will clean up nice. They're in really great shape. Not too much wear on those pedals. Sixty-two thousand seven hundred and eighty-two kilometers. Not miles. So I'm just going to get in and clean it. Clean the leather. Take out these mats, clean them. Do a little vacuuming. Just a CB in the top, that's it. No wires, no extra wires, nothing. Just a big console with a CB in it. <laughs> Sunroof, which I don't know if it leaks yet. I'm gonna check into it. Not too much signs of water, but it's been inside a lot. So. And then there's the sort of look back there, but. That's a different day. So, time to clean it up. Driver's side, I started cleaning the grooves. All the little places, way inside there. Gotta get up in there now, up inside, up inside. Where did it go? Oh, there it is, sorry. Hard to figure out. Nook and cranny day. I'm going to um, clean and tuck and vacuum and like in there with all that step. I got the floor mats out. So cool. There's soft rubber. Um, and once I scrub them up and grease them up with something, they should look nice. Wash them up. That's the last job for the night, I say, but I'd probably go at it. It's getting dark. It's a beautiful night. There's the finished product on the front, all done. The night light. And now I'm in the cab. I'm back in, I got the doghouse off, and honestly, for 43 years, it doesn't look that bad. I bought wires and all that because he said it was a while since he did them, so. But, still has the pollution stuff on it. Oh, again, good start. So I got the breather outside and still got some original stuff going on there. Clean that up. Not gonna paint, I'm just gonna clean. Don't think it's that far gone. Really great shape. Here's the Filter. Let's put a nice new one in there. Right on. So I'm back under the hood from cleaning yesterday and what I noticed was this 
bypass hose with the old clamps on looks pretty original the heater hoses same thing I think I'll just shorten them and clean up those ends for now but I got a new uh, bypass hose I'm gonna put in and uh, that's my little job for today don't think I'm gonna lose too much antifreeze being on the top and I haven't run it for a couple days that's the clamp. I didn't even touch it yet. I just touched it with my fingers to squeeze it and it broke off. So basically the hoses are being held by dried out hose. So sealed to it that it doesn't seem to leak. But this wasn't doing anything. So need to take the other one off and maybe it'll fall apart make life easier. Okay, I popped a little hole in the top. Try to let some of that out more than I thought. So I'm not uh, just let it drain on its own there. And get that hose off. Top her back up. Okay, got the um, bypass hose on with new clamps. Cleaned the area a bit. Cut the old um, clamps off those uh, heater hose lines and put clamps on. They're a little big, but that's all I got right now. So this will do for now. It's nice and cleaned. Um, the nipples on the water pump were a little rusty, so I'm assuming the water pump's fairly old. I'm not sure if it's original, but fairly old. At least signing off.